Software Installation First, you need to download the Win32 Disk Imager. It is a tool for burning the system to the SD card. Then go to Raspberry Pi official website to download the image for Raspbian. After it's downloaded, extract it for later SD card system creation. Insert the SD card into the card reader and connect it to the USB port of the computer. Open the extracted image and click Write to write the system. It may take a while before it's successfully written. Keep the SD card connected with the computer. Open the root directory of the card and create a file named SSH without any surface. Under the root directory of the SD card, create a file WPA underscore supplicant.txt and write the following contents into the file. Change the SSID and password pass to your own Wi-Fi settings. Save the file and change .txt to .conf. Now you can insert the SD card into Raspberry Pi and switch it on. Raspberry Pi will connect with the Wi-Fi automatically. Download and install PUTTY. PUTTY is the software that connects with the Raspberry Pi via SSH. You can use a free Android application named Network Scanner to check the IP address of Raspberry Pi. Input the IP address, click Open, and then click Yes. Now you can see a terminal pop-up. The default account is Pi and password is Raspberry. Type in the following command. The apt get update command is to acquire the up-to-date software lists and update all the software to provide the latest software for next system upgrade. The window will prompt, do you want to continue? Type in Y and press enter. Install the Python Drive program for PC8965 so that you can use the PC8965 PWM servo LED controller with a Raspberry Pi. Download program for the Raspberry Pi car. Save the program file in home folder. Then we can enable I2C and camera, which are disabled by default. Input pseudo recipe config. Interfacing options. Camera. Yes. OK. Interfacing options. I2C. Yes. OK. Finish. And then click Yes to reboot. Click OK and close PUTTY. Then we need to install Python 3.7 in the PC. Pay attention to the 32 bit or 64 bit of your system when downloading Python. Choose the corresponding Python version based on your own system. Remember to add Python to Path so it will configure the environment variables during the installation. Then install VLC Media Player. VLC Media Player is a streaming media player that we can use to display the images transmitted from the Raspberry Pi in real time. You are recommended to install it to the default path. Otherwise, you may need to change the responding code in vlc.txt. Above is all for software installation. Thank you.